name is Ron Calder. I'm the captain of Digit 5 and also the captain of the Marine program. This is Chief Kuznis, and I, on, on behalf of the East Providence Fire Department, I want to welcome everyone. Retired member Steve Crew, hiding out in the back. Joe Croshaw, and Ted McDonald, and other members of the Fire Department. This boat took us a while. I don't know if you heard a little bit of a history. There was a big fire over Mativa a few years ago, and we found out that we didn't have what it took to put the fire out. So we were tasked with getting a bigger and better boat. And this is what we came up with. It's a phenomenal boat. I thank Lieutenant Koshua. He did a bulk of the design work, uh, the grant writing, and everything. It was, I mean, this is, as much as it's mine, it's his baby. But he owns it. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're here today to dedicate Marine 3 to Arthur Ring. And at this point, I'd like to turn over to Chief Kuzma. If I can take you back in time, September 21st, 1938, Rhode Island is ravaged by a hurricane. During the aftermath, Arthur Ring responds with his company, Engine 1, out of Broadway, down to the area of Wachamokit Cove. It's the area that South Broadway meets the Veterans Memorial Parkway. They had a report of three individuals being swept into the waters. Now, if you can picture the devastation, the water levels were reported to be 15 feet above the road surface. A lot higher than what it is now. Without hesitation, Arthur Ring jumped in the water trying to find those three individuals. Swam around for a while. Unfortunately, his efforts were fruitless. What he may not have known, most likely he did, that during that swim, he was actually swimming in raw sewage. The pumping station, the Wachamoka pumping station, overflowed due to the high waters of that storm. Well, near an exhaustion, unable to find those victims whose bodies were found the following day, he made his way back to shore. His partners on his company helped him out of the water, but unfortunately, he didn't have an opportunity to change his clothes. He didn't even have an opportunity to rest. He responded right around the corner here on First Street to the old gasometer plant. It's where they stored the natural gas at that point for a multi-alarm fire. Multi-alarm means many alarms. A lot of fire trucks, a whole lot of firefighters. Well, on this particular day, no help was coming. Everybody was tied up with the event that they were facing, the storm. So Arthur Ring worked at this fire for multiple hours until it was finally extinguished. The following day, he began to feel ill. Went to his doctor. The doctor admitted him to the hospital. Each and every single day, his condition progressively worsened. His body was shutting down. On October 21st, one month to the day, he lost that ultimate battle. His body was poisoned by the toxins in which he constantly swam trying to find and hopefully save individuals that needed him. We lost a great man that day. But I am so proud to say that Arthur Ring has started yet another career with the East Providence Fire Department. And the proof is right in front of me. Thank you. He's been my contact for the family, and he'd like to say a few words. Thank you. Uh, I think everybody in the family is quite proud you know, of this time. Um, to see that name on the transport boat just kind of gives me chills. Um, I'd like to talk to the firefighters around maybe for a minute, but... Like it's I think we lost a few to a cold. <laughs> yeah, I right know how it goes, you know. Um, I've kind of followed you in my grandfather's footsteps. I'm a volunteer in war with the Tokyo Warren Department, so I am a Marine one, so it's fitting today. Um, Where's your uniform? Uh, <laughs> didn't think it was appropriate. We had to honor this guy and not recognize me, but um, what these problems Fire Department did for this family, you don't know, realize. Is, um, I don't think there's anybody here that knew him. 38, none of us were born 
He's got his grandchildren here today. He's got his great grandchildren here today. And he'll have his great great grandchildren here today. So um, the legacy uh, continues here with the Arthur H. Ring. But what I remember growing up, um, after my grandfather passed away, my grandmother, my, my mom had passed away, um, my brother Tom and brother Arthur's mom had passed away, and my grandmother Arthur's um, wife, uh, Mary, or May as they called her, she brought us up. She was largely responsible for bringing us up. But she stayed at everybody's house. She stayed with um, my uncle Arthur. She stayed with my uncle Arthur. She kind of bounced around. My uncle and mom was anywhere she came to stay with us. There was not a Thanksgiving or a Christmas or an Easter that the guys in the blue suits didn't show up at our house. They were there at holidays with fruit baskets. They bring us our Thanksgiving turkeys. Um, they took care of my grandma. If she needed a ride downtown, they were there for her. And they never failed um, you know, to be there if she needed it. She was always, I remember, no, 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 you guys don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. But, um, they insisted. Um, I remember Norman Gladding was one of the main firefighters who were there. I remember some of the others. Uh, they'd come in their dress blues, you know, and they'd just kind of hang around for a while, present with this basket, and they never failed year after year after year. Those guys were there. So largely, I think the East Providence Fire Department, um, City of East Providence, um, had a lot to do with bringing us up. And it was... Uh, I don't know why, we do have some firefighters in the family now. Um, Justin's with Warwick, and uh, I don't know if there's anybody else that's uh, following the footsteps. Um, I know my brother Arthur also. There's a tradition in the family also that, uh, you know, his, Arthur's firstborn son was named Arthur. And after he passed away, the firstborn son in every family was named Arthur. So there's another Arthur ring that just didn't happen to make it today. One of the Arthur rings has passed away, and the others from uh, Washington State, he couldn't make it either, but, um, you know, so that tradition continues as well. So, um, again, um, I'd like to thank East Providence uh, Fire Department on behalf of the entire family. That's uh, quite an honor. It's quite a boat. Um, it's good to see it you know, all doing its job. Uh, we also have put a little uh, plaque together here just from the family. This is um, our grandfather's, great-grandfather's, and great-grandfather's badge that we wanted to we display this on the boat. With his picture. Um, and, uh, that. We'll be proud to you. Absolutely. Thank you. As a token from East Providence, you can fight amongst the family members. <laughs> Here's a plaque dedicating for the dedication ceremony today and dedicated to Arthur. <laughs> East Providence Fire Department, Marine 3, ded dedicated September 18th, 2011, in memory of Arthur H. Ring, Engine Company 1, who died from injuries sustained in the line of duty October 21st, 1938. Wow. I think like the Stanley Cup, we should give this <laughs> 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 Somebody will drop it off the truck. <laughs> Uh, your mother welcome to come aboard, take a look at the vessel. You know, we're very proud of it. <laughs>